Hey there everyone, Noldium the boy here coming at you with the purple shanks deck, the one piece film edition deck. So it's a deck about shanks and film. It's really cool and it's number five for the collection. So I'm about to open it up very carefully here. Uh, I was about to open it very carefully and forgot about the tape. with the, you know, the pamphlet of how to play, etc. I just like collecting the box. Anyway, collecting the box is really cool. It really does. It really does look like manga books, you know, so. Number five. on we got our purple leader shanks right here shanks is here so i'm gonna run this for my locals and we're gonna see how it goes like i'm gonna build my, my deck around him and see how it goes just so he gives he's in a locals you know so five thousand power he's leader he's film four emperor red-haired pirates uh, activate main once per turn. Dawn minus three. You may return a specific number of dawn cards from your field to your dawn deck. All of your film type characters gain 2,000 power during this turn. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, I kind of dig that. But at the same time, it's like, it's... Eh. I can see how it can be good, but... I don't know. Returning dawn is great. I just don't know how to get the dawn back just as fast. Cool. Uh, let's read what she does. So she's a blocker. Um, four costs. She's 5,000 power. She's film character. Um, let's see. On block, Dawn minus one. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. So this actually is just generically good. She's actually just generically like a really good card. <laughs> like any purple deck will benefit just from using her. So that's why people are seeking after this purple deck because there's some cards in here to help purple Kaido. And can adjust it to make it better. The other two of foil is Douglas Bullet. I kind of like this card. I think this card is generically good too. Like he can kind of work in any deck. Um, activate Maiden once per turn. Dawn minus four. Rest up the two of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less. Then this character gains double attack. Um, the double attack is good. I think resting two characters is still straight up if you want to use that like immediately somehow. Like, just pay to 8, return 4, and then, you know, use it the rest of two characters to maybe just, like, get over blockers or something for your other characters that are already out. I can see them being used, like, kind of like that. But, otherwise, you can wait a turn, and then you're still around, you can, you, you can use it again, and then double attack. Or just wait a turn. Yeah, this deck looks pretty solid. Like, there's a lot of, like, film... Like, Ion is on play out of the one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it, so that's like how a way to get your Dawn back after you start sending it to your Dawn deck again with the Dawn minus effects. Then you get your two cost blocker and also film. Um, I think Karina's straight up good too. You may rest this character and trash one film type car card from your hand. If your opponent has more Dawn cards on their field than you, add two Dawn cards from your Dawn deck and rest them, so you kind of benefit off you know, using the Dawn Minus because then you can use her to get the Dawn back. Then when attacking Dawn Minus 2, draw 2. Okay, that's pretty, that's okay. Gordon is just a good, like, one cost good dude. Let's see, Shiki. If you have 8 or more Dawn cards on your field, this character cannot be KO'd in battle. It's fine. I just want this deck to be good. Um, he just has a trigger to play it if he comes out of life. Scarlet. Uh, Zephyr. Um, when this character battles strike attribute characters, this character gains 3,000 power during this turn. Um, activate main, dawn, minus one. 
Uh, this character gains 2,000 power during this turn. And then we got our 3 cost vanillas. 4 cost vanillas who are also film. We got our Buena Festa on play. Look at top 5 so we just get your film cards other than him and so he's your searcher. And Dr. Indigo, uh, vanilla, 2 cost, 4,000 power. Let's see, Lion Threat, Imperial Earth Bind. Let's see, Dawn minus 2, activate main. Um, tail up to 1, you form characters who cost a couple of Then trigger, add up to 1, Dawn Con, and deck instead of active. Let's see. I consider that. It's film, you can add it. The Union Armada. Counter up to one of your film type leader or character gains 4,000 power during the turn. If that card is a character, that character cannot be KO during this turn. That's nice. No, oh, okay, this deck is pretty. This deck is actually. Hmm. Some potential here. I'm kind of digging how this deck kind of works. Hmm. Purple Shanks. Like an allegiance. But yeah, I'm gonna run into my locals, so I'll let you know in part two of this video, like, um, how it goes. So, I'm gonna deck build now, and I'll see you all for part two. So, um, this is the deck profile for Shanks. He's okay. He's not terrible, he just needs more support with the film and all that, and Kaido's clearly the superior purple, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Shanks and what makes him pretty decent. So, uh, Shanks is a 5 life, he's 5,000 power, his, um, activate main is not that bad, actually. Uh, once per turn, down minus 3, all your film type characters gain 2,000 power during this turn. So, I like that ability a lot. But there's just not enough film characters to justify making him a full on meta deck. There's no way he can like survive the meta right now. Um, I wish he could, but he can't. There's not enough film characters, and the film characters that we have are mid at best, you know. Actually, Karina is actually the best one, but all she does is get you more Dom, which is like still good, but like, I don't know. We'll go through the deck and kind of explain how the deck kind of functions. So we run four of the Uta blocker from the starter deck. The majority of this is the starter deck, by the way. So, you know, the starter deck just came out recently. I was like, yeah, let's try it out. And here we are. So Uta, <laughs> um, she's a blocker. And then she has an on block effect, which is really cool that one piece card game has on block effects. Um, so Dawn minus one, and then rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. So when you block with her, you can return one Dawn from your from your cost area back to the Dawn deck to rest another character. So she basically is a two for one blocker. She can essentially like stop two attacks with that ability. Or she can tap down another blocker for the following turn. So like when you get aggro, you can don't have to worry about blocker. And she has a thousand counter. She has a thousand power counter. Uh it's pretty good. Yeah, she's a, she's a solid, um, she's a solid 4 of. Like, I think she, you, you run at least 3-4 of her in the Kaido deck, too. I'm not sure. I don't play Kaido, so. But I know Kaido players are using this card. I run 4 Karina. Karina is so good. She is very strong. She has a, she's a 1k counter, so that's good. Um, 3,000 power. Um, she's film. And she has an activate main, so you may rest, rest this character and trash one film-type card from your hand. So film type card, so it doesn't even have to be a character card, you can trash the event card too. Um, if your opponent has more Dawn cards on the field than you, add two Dawn cards from your Dawn deck and rest them. So she's really good because this deck minus Dawns a lot. So you're always going to have less than your opponent, so I like, she's very consistent actually in this deck. I feel like she'd be really good in Kyle too, to be honest. Um, but like, I rest her, I trash something, and then I get extra dawn and then sometimes I need that extra dawn to hit the magic number to use Shanks ability or something it's very nice she's handy it's getting rested on just because they're rested doesn't mean you can't use them per se because you can still minus them away so that's that's, that's come up it's nice I love Hawkins I think Hawkins is a very strong addition to this deck I just wish it was a film character 
but otherwise he's very solid. Um, he, is, he has a trigger play this card when you trigger it. He's a thousand counter. He's a four cost, two K. And then when you play him out, um, you can add one Dawn card from your deck, from your Dawn deck, and rest it. So he just gets you more Dawn. He's very good, and he has a trigger, so you can play him and get an extra Dawn during the trigger. This card is strong. The only problem with these cards is they're not film. But they st but they have solid enough abilities that they're worth running. He's a 3 cost. Um, what's his name? Sasaki. So 3 cost, 4k power. Uh, he's, a, he's a 2k counter, so that's really good. And then he has a Dawn X1 ability. When attacking, you may trash one card from your hand. Add one Dawn card from your deck and rest it. So he just helps you get more Dawn. I've only used him as a counter. I have not actually been able to actually play him out to use him but he has come out he has come up as 2k counter so I don't know maybe someday he'll come up as a uh, maybe I'll have to keep playing with this deck I only played it for my locals so pull over matchups and stuff at the end so I run uh, 4 of on and so on play 4 cost she's 5k power I actually like this card I think this card is very solid the only problem with her is that she doesn't have counter, but that's okay because her ability is really strong and she's 5k power. So on play, you can add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. So she just gets you more Dawn. And she gets buffed because when you use Shang, she's 7k. That's huge. This dude's 8k when Shanks buffs him. Um, Guild. So his one attacking ability is really good. He has a he's 5 cause, he's a 6k. Um, you can make him 8k with Shanks, and then uh, when attacking, you can Dawn minus 2 to draw 2 cards. I think that's really solid. I think that's a really solid card. Um, sh I've seen some Kaido players already tech this in. I think it's solid. I think it's really good. Like, a lot of these film cards help Kaido a lot, actually. Like, individually. Then I run, uh, 4 and She's just a 2k, 3k blocker. So she's your blocker. Nice. And she can become. She, I swing with her too sometimes because she gets the magic 5k. And I'm like, we don't have enough film characters. So I'm like, Shanks. And then she swings for 5k. I just use her. Because sometimes I just rely on Uta for the extra blockage. I like this card a lot too. This card's a 2k counter. He's at 1 cost. Um, Buena Festa. So he's really cool. Um, he's your searcher. So on play, when you play him, you can look at top 5 and add a film card that. I think any film card. Other than himself. Yeah. Searcher. 2k counter. He's strong. He could become 2k. From zero. He can barely hit anything though. Four Gordons. One cost Gordon. Um, he just becomes 5k with Shanks. That's his purpose. He's 1k too. So he's easy to play out. Not 1k. I mean uh, one cost. He's one cost. <laughs> I like Scarlet. Scarlet's very good father. Uh, he's a 1k counter. Uh, his trigger is play it. And then he's just a vanilla 3k. Then he becomes 5k with uh, Shanks. So he's just father. Sometimes. Or he just comes out. Sometimes he just pops up. I'm like, oh cool. This is the only card I'm going to take out of the deck. Because this card did not help me during locals. I didn't even see it. And the one time I drew it during casual play, I couldn't even play it. I only had 7 Dawn because of the whole Dawn minus stuff happening. Uh, Douglas Bullet is a really solid card though. It's just like I, run, I think I'm gonna run King instead for the removal. Like run like the six cost King and maybe like a combination of the six and seven cost Kings instead of this guy. Like maybe two of the six cost one and seven cost or two of the seven cost one and six, six cost. Not sure how I'm gonna do it, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So uh, Douglas Bullet activate main once per turn. Dawn minus four. Um, rest up to two of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less, and rest then this character gains double attack, which is basically security plus one. This, this card will now deal two damage. So he could take two life, basically. So the problem with him, he does have rush. I wish he had rush. I might I'm considering running Kaido instead. Like the nine cost Kaido. I'm not I don't think he has a restriction with you needing Kaido leader, because I think that's just only the ten cost Kaido that does, needs the leader to be Kaido basically. And the stage. So, Douglas is leaving for sure. She's leaving the deck. Um, Bagra Thunder, I think, is very solid. Um, four of? This card comes up a lot. I've used this, like, very 
like every game I've been in, and it's come up like handy. So its counter is um, it's a two cost don, I mean two cost event card, and it has a counter. So up to one of your leader or character cards gains four thousand power during this battle. Then if you have two or less life, um, you can add one don card from your don deck and rest it. So that comes up too. So like I'm able to get more don just and while defending myself, which is sick. This card I like, but. I just run it because it's a film. I might take one out, to be honest. I just run two of it instead. Um, so it has a, it's cost three, and then when you play it, you have the Dawn minus two. KO up to one of your opponent's characters will cost a five or less, so I like that ability. I like that. I just don't know when to ever use it because I don't know how to manage my Dawn yet in this deck because I don't have this, I don't have a stage, nor do I have enough cards in this deck that Rampage Dawn. I think I'm gonna run like U Uta or something. Because when you play her, you get Dawn. So I'm like, maybe I'll run her and stuff like that. But she doesn't have counter, so I'm like, I don't know. I have to mess around with this deck a lot. But overall, this deck is pretty solid. Um, I'm very proud of how it turned out. Well, I'm proud of how it turned out to start. Like, this starter deck has potential. I just think we need more film card support. It doesn't have to be particularly from this movie either because I think this film archetype could be just from all the movies that they have, that One Piece has, and one, and that they're gonna get in the future. That should just be the archetype where they, they just throw all the films in there that One Piece has. I, never see, I haven't seen most of the films, but they could throw in a lot just from the movies alone because the movies are non-canon and all that, so they could just throw everything in there and call them film. That's my theory on how they should do it. They should just shove it all under the umbrella and then let me have fun with it. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh. Oh, this Luffy's here because this is my participation card. Woo, Luffy. I pulled it. Nice. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Um, I'm hoping to get more deck profiles out soon. Um, I have to keep playing some more. Um, yeah. I really think this is my purple deck, though, until Water 7. So, set 3. <laughs> all right. Thank you all again. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.